Uh, my name is Herb Burgo. I am the executive director of the Keeney Park Sustainability Project. Um, the Sustainability Project was founded in 2016. Um, the project was formerly the Family Day Foundation, um, where we hosted an annual Family Day Festival in Keeney Park. In 2016, we changed our focus to urban agriculture and forest management education. Um, I grew up in the north end of Hartford. I attended Hartford Public High School. Um, graduated high school, went to Connecticut College in New London, Connecticut, and then moved to Florida, um, where I stayed for about nine and a half years. Um, upon returning to Connecticut, um, I started working on the Family Day Festival and then eventually began working on the sustainability project. We wanted to, to do more for our park, we wanted to do more for our community, and we wanted to do more with our nonprofit status. Um, and the sustainability project is what came out of that brainstorming process. Um, I visited Growing Power in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, and this project was amazing. They were doing all these amazing urban agriculture activities on this small space of land, um, and just started to think about and brainstorm how we could bring those activities back to, to Hartford. Um, and so one by one, we added different activities. We started with growing vegetables, um, and then we added greenhouses, um, and then we added you know, uh, maple syrup production, and we added beekeeping. And every year we added something new um, until you see what we have here today. So our overarching goal is to reconnect people to the healing power of nature. Um, and we have, we've learned that urban agriculture, gardening, um, and things that allow young people to put their hands in the dirt and to interact with nature, not only can serve as an educational tool, but can also serve as a healing tool um, to address issues of trauma and reduce toxic, toxic stress. Um, so there are multi-levels um, to why is it important to engage folks or young people in urban agriculture um, in this community. For high school students and college students, we offer service learning opportunities. So if there's a special you know, or field or an activity on our site that kind of aligns with a course or a subject that they are interested in, we're able to have them work here um, in a service learning type of environment, um, either for course credit or for just general experience. And then for younger kids, we offer field trips for different classes. So if a math teacher or a science teacher um, has a different activity that they want to teach the kids about that we offer here, then they're able to bring those kids here as part of the field trip. Um, and we have a beautiful assortment of produce here. Um, this is what we've been selling today. We have some delicata, some eggplant, some zucchini, some tomatoes, um, and different types of peppers. Uh, and we're here every Wednesday from 9 to 12. So come check us out. My name is Zania Johnson, co-founder of Micro to Life LLC. We are here in Simsbury, Connecticut at our growing area space. Um, we currently grow at Gifts of Love, which is a nonprofit here in the town of Simsbury. And um, right now I'm picking tomatoes for our market tomorrow. We sell our produce at farmers markets. Um, our main farmers market this season is the North End Farmers Market in Hartford, Connecticut on 80 Coventry Street. And so um, pretty much when I'm picking, I'm picking green tomatoes. So Here's a green tomato. Um, for the population that comes to this market, um, it's a lot of elderly, but also a lot of African American Caribbean um, um, customers. So one of the main food items they want are green tomatoes. So I'm picking green tomatoes along with ripe red tomatoes here. That's what I'm currently doing. Um, so yeah, this is our field. Our planning for the growing season we start all the way in the winter season, in the winter time, and we plan out what kind of crops we're gonna grow for the next season. Um, so we start in greenhouses in February, and we start our peppers and tomatoes during that time. Um, we come out here where everything is uh, snowing and freezing. We come out here um, and start planting our, our collard greens actually in March. So. I know most people won't think that you can grow and start in March, but we start our collard greens in March, and then um, we go all the way until pretty much year-round in a high tunnel later on, where we start our winter crops. Um, a high tunnel is just like another type of greenhouse where we can grow winter greens. And we also have a contract with the Hartford Public Schools, 
where we deliver most, a lot of these collard greens, approximately 150 pounds every week. Currently, we are at the North End Farmers Market here in Hartford, Connecticut on 80 Coventry Street. And we have this market every Wednesday from 9 to 12, and it will last um, until the end of October. Uh, so currently at our table today, we have green tomatoes, we have red tomatoes, uh, we have uh, sun gold tomatoes, and we have kale. Um, we also had thyme, and we had collard greens, but we sold out of that already. Um, and this market is really nice. It's one of my favorite markets. Um, the atmosphere is really nice. Um, there's very various people from different walks of life that are here, and we just enjoy giving to the community while we're here. Um, it's not only about it's not about us only giving, but we also receive um, knowledge and advice from the residents that are here, and we take heed to what they want, and that's what we grow. So. Derek Bedward. I'm an urban farmer in Hartford, Connecticut. I, I've been doing farming over 30 years, started in Jamaica, where I grow my own crops. My father was a farmer, and I learned farming from my father. To me, farming is very important. It's all about our nutrition and our healthy living. So that's why I go organic produce. And everything in here is grown organic because I eat these veggies and I'm, I'm not about to poison people either. So I grow organic and So what is this? This is dinosaur kale. Good for juicing, raw juice, good any way you want it. This is beets. 